ABC News exclusive in the wake of that deadly ambush in Mexico that left nine Americans dead. About 100 members of the Mormon families impacted by the attack pulling out of Mexico this weekend in this caravan seeking a new start in the United States. The Mexican government tonight inviting the FBI to join the investigation. And now we're hearing for the first time from David Langford, whose wife and two sons were killed, as well as his 13 year old son who survived the horror, then walked 14 miles to help. My interview tonight. For the first time, David Langford and his hero son, Devin, who helped rescue his wounded siblings, sharing their harrowing story with ABC News in an exclusive interview. Not only have I lost a wife and, and two children, uh, but uh, I've having to move uh, the rest of my family uh, with really no place to go at this point. So Langford and much of his extended family are leaving Northwest Mexico. They're part of a fundamentalist Mormon group that has lived in the area for decades before the drug cartels took over and the violence became unescapable. I believe in forgiveness, but I also believe in justice. And, and forgiveness doesn't rob justice. And, and justice, uh, you don't get justice too much in Mexico. This video showing the caravan, at least 18 vehicles full of families crossing the border into the U.S. That ambush attacked the final straw. Three mothers and six children killed. Langford telling us when you look at what the cartel hitmen did to his family's vehicles, it's amazing seven of his children survived. Every one of my children that uh, survived that are living miracles. It's beyond amazing that they survived. Including his baby son Brixton, a bullet grazed his chest. Any lower would have been fatal. Even a quarter of an inch because it, the, the impact of the bullet itself would have collapsed his lungs. Langford says more and more evidence points to the cartel. His son Devin saying the killers had long guns and wore vests. The family was driving to see relatives in a neighboring state. They kind of got caught up in a, in a drug war between two rival gangs, and they got, just kind of got caught in the crossfire. And as the shooting started, Devin telling us the last thing his mother said and did. Get down right now. She was trying to pray to the Lord. David says seeing the brutal way his loved ones were killed, along with an emotional funeral that some of his wounded children attended, has been almost too much to bear. The toughest part for me was, uh, was saying goodbye. Yeah, it definitely was. Saying goodbye to two innocent lives that were cut short uh, and, a, and a vibrant wife that uh, lived life to its fullest. Now he's focused on aiding his surviving children. To be honest with you, my boy's a hero simply because he gave his life for his brothers and, and sisters. And tomorrow, only on GMA, part two of our interview, that 13-year-old boy, Devin, tells his story, what he saw, what he remembers, and what drove him to walk those 14 miles, plus the family's message to America. That's tomorrow on GMA. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.